Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box unboxing. Today it's another one from Latest in Beauty and it's the Trending Edit Volume 9, September 2023. So this one costs £30 plus delivery cost charges on top of that. I think they're normally about £4 unless of course you're a Lib Pro subscriber then delivery is probably free and you'll almost certainly I imagine get your discount I'm not a Lib Pro subscriber so I've paid full price but I'm quite happy with this one actually I like what's in here so latest in beauty says immerse yourself in the cult beauty roundup of the season a collection that embodies the essence of autumn reset and showcases the most coveted items inside you'll find a thoughtfully selected assortment of 12 must-have items valued at £132. We've gathered together the very best high street brands you know and love. So the first one, I'm going to get on with it quite quickly. The first one in here, now it actually came separate to the box as you'll see because it's quite a large box in itself. It turns up a little bit battered and bruised from its travels but I'm not too bothered about that. And this is by Mermaid Hair and it's the quick dry brush now, it's a little bit difficult to find a valuation on this online. I couldn't actually see it anywhere. I think I might have seen it somewhere, but I wasn't 100% sure on value. Latest in Beauty says the all-in-one brush for quick drying, detangling and styling. This lightweight brush features a vented paddle designed to remove moisture faster for quick drying. The bristles are heat resistant and suitable to use with hot tools. Sorry about the noise there. That was right by my mic as well. I'll hold it away as I unpack it. This is what it looks like. Now I have given this a go, not today because I've gone all curly today. So, but I did use it yesterday on straight hair. I'm not great with hair. So it was a bit fiddly and difficult to get used. I normally just use my fingers to comb through my hair as I'm drying it. So using a brush is a bit strange for me, but it seemed to work okay. It actually did seem to straighten my hair quite well. I'm not sure it was any quicker, but that's probably because I was faffing about and didn't know what I was doing. Um, but I definitely will give it another go. It's quite, you can see the vents there so the air can get through. And these, they're not too pokey in your head type thing. They're quite soft and gentle. And the way it's rounded as well, that's kind of nice too. So I'll definitely be giving it another go. Um, I quite liked using it. It's not a bad, not a bad start. Okay, the next one is by Curlsmith and it's the Post Wash Calming Conditioner. So this is 355 mils and 23 pounds on the brand's website. And they say, if your scalp is frequently itchy and irritated, this conditioner will be your best friend. It contains peppermint and tea tree essential oils, which soothe the scalp, providing a tingly refreshing sensation. It's the perfect conditioner to use after clarifying as it will balance the scalp and restore your hair's moisture level after its thorough detox. It's for all curl types and even straight hair. It's suitable for any hair texture or porosity. So I have tried this out this morning. I've actually got two con used two conditioners, one on this side and one on the other because I've got another box that I'm hopefully going to film tomorrow with shampoo and conditioner, So, which is the OK box. Um, so I thought I'd try them both at the same time. My voice went a bit funny then, and I'm not quite sure why, but never mind. Um, I kind of like it. I'm not sure. The reason that the mods put me off is it's the smell. It does actually contain hyaluronic acid, and I think you can almost tell that when you're using it. So, And it's got this lovely little pump action, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> nice to use when you're in the shower. And it is quite a lovely feeling texture it's quite soft and sort of cushiony um but the smell i can't quite work out whether i like it or not so there is definite mint in there there's definite tea tree oil there's something very fruity in there too i ooh, it's like it a little bit better now than when i used it this morning but i'm still not sure in terms of how it fared on my hair it did really well it actually felt better this side felt okay but this side felt a lot better as i went after i'd rinsed it off and then my hair did start to dry before i did it curly and 
this top bit here felt so silky and soft so do you know what i think i'm going to give it another go i do like the fact it's got hyaluronic acid in it too is it as good as my favorite conditioners which at the moment is um bleach london's reincarnation mm, probably not but it's not bad it's not bad at all so i'm happy with that one as well okay the next item is by batiste and this is a dry shampoo in blush i think it is fruity and floral fragrance so it's 150 mils it looks like 200 mils is around three pounds 25 from various online suppliers so this is probably worth around two pounds 44. they say with an aroma of romantic rose notes combined with light cheese seize the day and sparkle by night a burst from this can of magic removes oil effectively, leaving hair looking clean without drying it out. Give your hair a new lease of life with added body and texture between washes whenever you need it. Now, I think as well somewhere I noticed it's got um, freesia as one of its notes. I don't know where I got that from. Maybe I'm making that up. Freesia is my favourite, favourite flower. So it's a shame I'm not going to be keeping this because I don't use dry shampoo. I just never use it did give it a little burst on my hair earlier today before I washed it just to see what it would be like and it smelled gorgeous if I did use dry shampoo I'd love this so I'm gonna give it a little spray now and probably it's probably gonna yeah it's quite quite an aggressive spray isn't it um oh it does smell nice oh it smells lovely it's more fruity to me maybe there is a bit of rose in there as well but it's a gorgeous smell now i know people who do use dry shampoo i'm going to give it to my friend for her daughters i think they use it so that will be winging its way to them okay the oh to use it i never told you how to use it shake it section hair spray towards your roots um 30 se uh, centimeters away tumble around with your fingertips massage your head to ensure roots covered brush lightly to remove excess residue okay the next item i'm not keeping this one either it's by eyelaw it's three quarter length lashes now it looks like these are about six pounds from various online suppliers latest in beauty says number 002 is a cute three quarter length lash style that's perfect for adding a touch of extra texture and fullness to your lashes the brand says our three quarter length range is a collection of no fuss no measure and no trim lashes with shorter lash bands this collection is perfect for a first time lash user or those who want a quicker lash application. Handmade and reusable for up to five wear wears. Every lash pack, pack comes with our latex free lash glue that is guaranteed to last up to 18 hours. So you apply adhesive, wait 20 to 30 seconds and then attach these to your lash line. I'll bring it in a bit closer so you can see them. I think they say they're light and wispy and you can see the um, the lash adhesive in the bottom as well so they're really lovely if i wore um false eyelashes i would probably really like these but i don't so they'll be going probably to one of my nieces i reckon okay the next item is by palmer's and it's body oil it's now you can get it says fragrances will vary but when i looked i think it was on there the website um, it looked like there were two choices potentially various prices between about five fifty and eight pounds so the one version is cocoa butter body oil which is crafted with intensively moisturizing cocoa butter and vitamin e this absorbs instantly for a radiant healthy looking glow or the one i got which is the raw shea nourish body oil crafted with vitamin enriched shea butter to richly replenish dry sensitive skin so to use it you can use it after your shower and bath lock it to damp apply to damp skin to lock in moisture or you can add it to bath um, use it as bath oil add one to two capfuls to warm water for soothing for a soothing spa bath i'm getting all my words mixed up today but you know i'm just going to keep going plow on plow on okay so i'm actually really pleased i got this one it smells gorgeous now i'm going to make a bit of a mess i imagine let me put, put it i'm gonna have to pause oh my goodness me what have i done that was not what i meant to do there's a pool in my palm now 
okay this is going to be messy um mm, it's very vanilla it smells beautiful vanilla beautiful vanilla now normally i will use an or body oil as a nighttime sort of part of my nighttime routine rather than in the day simply because i don't really like the feel of an oil on me in the day and if you're using it in the day you generally have to wait a little bit for it to absorb let's see how quickly it will here um i used it on my legs earlier today to be fair i didn't feel it for long so i think it does absorb fairly quickly gosh that smells so good um do you know what i'm actually going to use this as a daytime one and i that is surprising but it's because of the smell it's gorgeous and it lasts the smell lingers and lasts for quite a while so yes i like it a lot i don't know what i'm going to do i think i'm going to go and have to have a little bit of a wash because otherwise anything i put on top of that is just going to slide off but yeah it's really nice i'm happy with that i'll be back in a sec you know i can still smell it and it's beautiful and my skin does feel nice and soft i have sort of washed it off as well so that's really good okay the next i now this surprised me and i really like this is the star of the box i think for me um it's by body shop and it's the chamomile sumptuous makeup cleansing butter it's 90 mils 12 pounds on the brand's website and they say that this product can dissolve all makeup in 30 seconds including waterproof mascara it also helps to cleanse your skin of spf and it's clinically proven to clear pollution plus it helps keep your skin feeling supple and nourished with moisture from the first use it's suitable for all skin types including sensitive skin i was so surprised with this one i think it's amazing and i've only used it once but i used it to get some makeup off this is what it looks like it's lovely and thick and gorgeous so i'm just going to get a little bit here why i liked it was because the the formula the feeling of it it just is like silk i'm doing it again i'm making my arm all never mind it feels like silk on your skin when you're putting it on i can't like oh it's gorgeous and it feels so nice on your face it feels like a real luxury luxury item plus it smells nice it smells really light milky kind of smell but really beautiful i think it's great now i love face um balms and butters and oils to clean makeup off your face i think that's the way i always do it that's my first two part cleansing stage first one's always one of these sorts of products this is a lot more affordable than the other ones that i use so if ever i run out i'm gonna buy this because i tell you what i like it okay the next one is by james reed and it is the h2o tan drops for your face it's 15 mils latest in beauty say it's worth 20 pounds and it is available on the brand's website at that price as a travel size they say it has a water-based formula which won't interfere with your daily skincare it also contains aloe vera and hyaluronic acid to help prevent dryness and it gives skin a healthy glowing tan that lasts so to use this you mix one to four drops to your usual moisturizer lotion or cream in the palm of your hand and apply evenly over your face in your usual manner increasing the dosage will increase the depth of color wash hands thoroughly after application so i have used this today i wasn't really sure how many drops to use so i just used two drops um and it's a great way of doing it actually because you feel like you're getting full coverage by mixing it in with your moisturizer i'm really happy to get this because i've had a few facial self-tan products at the beginning of summer I had one which was a hyaluronic acid one which was a self tan plus one which was an fpf spf with a self tan and a couple of others but they're on their way out and i definitely want to try and keep a self tan or a bit of a glow over winter um so i'm really pleased with this i did put it on today but i don't know whether there's i mean i've got loads of makeup on over the top but I think it made a little bit of a difference, more of a glow than a tan, I would say, but it was definitely something there. 
my skin felt all right today considering all the dust that's been around it's not doing too badly a little bit dry maybe but that is literally because there has been dust in the air all day okay the next item is by dr paw paw and it's sort of fallen over at the back here it's your gorgeous skin soothing sheet mask and it's four pounds 99 on the brand's website they say powered by our hero ingredient papaya laronic trademark which provides the nourishing and soothing effects of papaya extract and teamed with eight times hyaluronic acid which absorbs into all five layers of the skin for instant and long-lasting hydration resulting in super soft skin the addition of aloe vera a natural healer relieves and soothes the skin and vitamin e adds extra nourishment whilst it softens and protects this formula is suitable for all skin types so to use this you apply to a clean face relax for 15 minutes remove and massage any remaining product into the skin so i used this one yesterday it's one of those ones that's absolutely jam-packed with flu um, fluid <laughs> serum well it is fluid i guess isn't it you can probably see it's still really shiny there's a nice little smell to well nice enough smell to it i guess um it went on really well loads of serum afterwards so you could give your face a good massage and it felt quite hydrated so i liked using this a lot i need hydration at the moment okay now the next one's another mask which is by rodial and it's the energizing face mask so this has an rrp of 14 pounds it's actually on the brand's website for £10 at the moment. They say a hybrid of hydration and resurfacing technology revitalizes, rejuvenize, rejuvenates, and retexturizes the skin. It's an ultra thin biocellulose mask which contains vitamin C to boost luminosity and even skin tone, niacinamide, which gives the skin a youthful glow and reduces the appearance of fine lines. Hyaluronic acid helps increase moisture levels in the skin. And green tea, a natural antioxidant known to soothe and calm the complexion. I don't know where I'm going with words today. Now, this one is a bit interesting to use. And I used it this morning and I have had this before. I really do like this face mask. So it's a bit of an awkward one to use. That's the only complaint I've got. It's so awkward. What you have to do is it comes in between two layers a protective sheet i think they call it so you remove the first protective sheet so i had to cleverly try and get it back on and then you put it on your face and then you move the second protective sheet so you're just leaving this mask on your face as you can see it's really thin and it's that's the bit that's faffy you put it on your face and then you've got to try and find an edge to sort of pull and if you're like me and you need glasses to see absolutely everything then it's a bit of a task and it's a bit frustrating and that sort of relaxation you want from wearing your face mask has gone a bit by that point because you get a bit fed up but having said that once you do get it on it's a really nice face mask to use and i think it makes an instant change to the look of your skin my skin felt and looked a lot brighter just nicer afterwards so i really do like that mask and despite the fact to get it on it's worth it okay um i don't know whether i said to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes i might have done but i can't remember then you massage the excess serum in okay the next one is by wet and wild and it's color icon 10 pan pan shadow palette in call me sunshine so it looks like you can get this from between five pound fifty to six pounds fifty from various suppliers the brand says this features an improved richly pigmented and buttery smooth vegan formula in matte satin shimmer and metallic finishes i've got some i can't open it so i'm going to you have to use tweezers i'm trying did you see me struggling down there to open the thing and i still can't open it i might have to do something else in a minute okay in matte satin shimmer and metallic finishes the formula delivers long-lasting oh there we go 
where soft guide application and seamless blending. So this is what it looks like. There's no mirror to have to contend with, which is good. So I've used this on my eyes today. So I started off, I used this one as a sort of a base um, for the whole eye area. See, now I can't put it on my arm because of the, the butter. Um, then the, this one, I used a very, very light one in the inner corner, but then this one, which is this one here, I used next. Lovely and shimmery. Then this rather amazingly gorgeous sort of yellow gold colour. Wow, look at that. Went next. So that's in there, probably round about here. Um, then I used this coppery, coppery shimmer one in the middle. And then I went for a couple of mattes. So I went that one there and the very dark one here. So that is what's on my eye going inwards, outwards. And then I just gave it a good old blend. And that is the result, which I think isn't bad at all. So, yeah, I think it's a lovely. So you just blend it in. Look. I always do it like that. That's how I line it up on my eye in these sort of lines and then just blend it all together. So I quite like that. And there's some beautiful shimmery ones in there. Um, the other one that I didn't try, but I kind of wanted to, but I'd got too, too much going on on my eye by that point was, was this one. Cause I think that one looks kind of nice. So let's just give that a quick go. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more boring than the others. Okay, the next item is Mellow Cosmetics Gel Lip Pencil. Now, this got covered in a little bit accidentally by one of the masks serum, which fell down and covered the bottom of the box. So sorry about that. This is shade Ava, and it looks like you can get this for around 12 or 13 pounds. The brand says our gel formulated lip liner glides on fluidly and adheres instantly with a matte finish. Define your lips with an instant release of rich saturated color, long wearing and transfer proof. It can be worn alone or layered with your favorite lipstick or gloss. So I have got this on, but I kind of mismatched the lip gloss that I was wearing. So I didn't really think it through. This is what it looks like. So that doesn't look particularly exciting, but I really like the way it glides on your lips. That is what it looks like. It's a great, great colour for me. Um, let's see if I can put it on my hand. Is it going to work? Yeah. There you go. Very sort of natural, slightly pinky looking colour. I have got it on and what I loved about it is it goes on really silkily and it managed to get the points of my lips because I've got I've lost a lot of pigment around my lips but my lips used to have a really nice defined point at the top um, and this managed to get it earlier on. I don't know whether it's still there. Um, so yeah I like that and I normally only ever use the Delina one but I actually think that might be coming out on top at the minute. Okay, the next item is, now this I think, is it the last item? I think it's the last item. I haven't used it yet. I haven't even opened it. It's by Revlon. It's the Colour Stay Suede and Lipstick in the shade Tunnel Vision. It looks like these are around £9.99 from various suppliers. So Latest in Beauty says matte colour without the fuss. With a built-in primer, it's a long-lasting, smudge-proof, no-transfer marvel that keeps going for up to eight hours. So... I would have tried this out just to test whether it lasted for eight hours, but I'm not sure I'm going to like the colour. Actually, that colour is that's the colour. That's not the colour I was expecting, you know, at all. I thought it was going to be red. I'm sure I looked that up on the, um, when I looked it up on the internet, it looked like it was red. Well, that's a nice, easy peel thing. I hope it comes off easily now. Let me just see if I can. Okay, oh, it's upside down. So it goes like that. Oh, no, it's not red at all. Oh, wow. I think I like it. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Would you, it's purpley pink or is it just pink? Oh, it's quite bright pink. <gasps> mm, it's 
it's that Barbie pink? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to pause and put it on. This might be embarrassing. I'll be back in a sec. Oh, my goodness, that was not me. I just put that on my lips and it was proper matte. It looked horrendous. I've had to put some gloss on top just to sort of merge it. And it was like just like a line of colour with just not blending in. It was just really not great. So I've had to put gloss on top just to try and blend it in. And I don't like it at all. So it's a bit of a shame, but never mind. Mm, that's going to have to go to someone else, I think. Okay, so the box itself. <clears throat> I like that it's high street sort of brands. I'm going to have to stop and take a drink of water because I'm about to choke. No idea why I was choking there, but then Snowy got heard me and got a bit concerned. But yes, <clears throat> there's a lot of dust in the house. So as a box, I think it's quite interesting because of the high street sort of brands in here. It's nice to try them and see what you think. So we started off with this, this brush, which I'm still not, 100% sure about but I might um I might see how it rushes out the curls later actually um then we have got um the conditioner which oh you give me a little that's very kind um the conditioner which did a lot better than I thought it would we've got the Batiste which I probably will be passing that on we've got the Shea oil which smells absolutely very lovely we've got the star of the show for me which was the cleansing butter which is fabulous we've got the eyelashes which again that's not really for me we had the james reed um self <laughs> oh you are a good girl and then we had the two face masks um i particularly like the rodeo one which i've lost now but it is some hanging somewhere about i think it's because the mask's actually on top of the packet we have the lovely eye palette which actually didn't do a bad job we have the gorgeous lip liner and we have the not so great for me lipstick i think if you had um if you were younger that would be lovely because it felt like it would stay put for ages but just felt a bit drying on my lips i don't like matt anyway so that's um not the person i do know matt and i like him very much but i don't like matte lipstick so you know okay so that's the end of the box so it's a nice one decent price 30 pounds if you're a lib pro subscriber oh careful i'll just pop it down good girl she's gonna pull out the lead from the laptop we're having lots of fun and games here today um yeah if you're a pro subscriber you get a decent discount hopefully so it would maybe be worth getting i did get the cult beauty trending edit i was meant to be filming that today but it's sold out so um i probably will still film it just so i've got a little record of it myself and the products in there are nice to talk about um this pink really doesn't go with this i thought it was going to be red should have checked should have checked um but yes, and I'm slouching as well. I've just noticed I'm slouching. I've been slouching the whole video, haven't I? So sorry about that. Um, it's been an interesting week. Very busy. I'm very tired. Exhausted, potentially, could be the word for it. It's Thursday today, Friday tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be doing my OK box tomorrow. And maybe my cult beauty trending edit, because I do want to sort of talk about some of the products in there they were really nice and then i've got my cohorted box still to do which i will probably end up doing next week but hopefully our things are getting a little bit back on track but still very busy here the end is in sight though so i'm quite excited about that um in, in terms of building work not hopefully me <laughs> shouldn't say things like that oh my goodness me positive energy is needed in this um video okay i'm going to send you loads of positive energy and hopefully i'll see you back here again soon but take this and enjoy all the positive time that you can take care bye bye